Violas, welcome to Dragon Slayer, 53 to the end. It's 14 CMO, so we're going to play loud and with heavy bows because there's accents on every single note. And then when we get to the last two measures, triple forte, so as loud as you can possibly play with a really good sound. Um, it divides for you. At measure 54 and 55, it says above the first note of 54, D, I, V, and there are two notes there. So you're going to divide just like we do in orchestra. Um, usually the person that sits on the left side of the stand, like over here, plays the top part and the person that sits on the right side of the stand plays the bottom part. But if you know that when it's divided, your stand partner usually plays this and your other stand partner plays that or whatever, just do it the way you usually do. And if not, just pick one. I'm going to play the top part because it's a little trickier than the bottom part. The bottom part stays on E the whole time. It's E, E in measure 54, E. And in measure 55, it's E, E, E. While the top part is F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, G. So it changes uh, between the two measures. And then the same thing happens at 58 and 59. So whatever you part, whatever you play at 54, 55, you play again at 58, 59. Um, there is, uh, no, you don't have any circle bows. Just kidding. That was the only for the cellos and the basses. Make sure you're counting your rests really carefully. Make sure you're playing F sharp, so we have F sharp in the key signature. So big space, no F naturals. Put a space there. Um, it's counting your rests. That's what it's all about for you guys. All right, here we go.